<laughs> yeah, this update's pretty awesome, guys, I gotta say. Uh, so welcome back once again, everybody, to another Minecraft episode. This is Etho, having lots of fun with the slime blocks. <laughs> so as most of you have probably seen, this update has uh, given new two, fu new two functions, two new functions to slime blocks. They, uh... <laughs> Let's just take a moment to enjoy this moment. <laughs> yeah, two new functions to slime blocks. They now will stick to, to each other, and adjacent blocks will stick to slime blocks as well. And uh, the thing I especially like about this update, though, is the whole bouncy uh, spring effect they have when they're moved with a piston. So all entities, players, boats, minecarts, uh, mobs... Potions, ender pearls, arrows, TNT, everything <laughs> can get launched by these things. And that allows for so many possibilities. But really, they're just fun. <laughs> they are really fun. So I've been playing around with it, doing a few things with boats. Look, you can even uh, hop between them in midair. And <laughs> I think you can like jump across them too. Like if you had a line of these timed in sync with each other, you could... Uh, Use them as like moving platforms, which is something I always wanted in this game. Uh, although I will have to say, from from just playing around with this for a little bit, boats are pretty glitchy in this update still. Like they they have this issue where they're not where they appear to be sometimes. It's like a visual drawing glitch maybe, or a desync of some sort. So <laughs> trying to time jumps between boats, I I did attempt something like that, and I had a lot of trouble just because of some bugs. Um, and also, of course, boats are extremely fragile still. But it looks like we're going to be able to do some cool things with boats, and and it, and especially with other things as well, like minecarts. And yeah, <laughs> just a great patch to the game. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I have to be careful with him. Oh, it landed on the zombie's head, and he's stuck. Oh, there he goes. Oh no! Boat's on the loose! What have you done? My experiment! Will he jump yet? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, uh... Sometimes, uh, these pistons get stuck. I'm not exactly sure why. Can I do a, can I do a run jump? Sometimes I can just do a run jump without... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's destroy it all. Since it's got messed up already. Woohoo! <laughs> all right, guys. So we're gonna hop into one of my creative worlds here. I was uh, I was trying to get Eats Road working with his boat hopping effect, like to do jumps with the Eats Road. And I came up with something that seems to work pretty good. Uh, so I want to show that to you and maybe a few other just random cool things I've seen people on Reddit do with these, and and that I was experimenting with myself. Uh, so, I will see you in the creative world. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. Ooh. <laughs> this is my Eats Road launching system I was trying out, and it does seem to work pretty good. I repeated it many times here to make sure it would keep going, too, that it could do more than one jump in a row if I wanted. And it does. It does work pretty good. Um... I have just encountered a problem though that I didn't realize before. <laughs> Apparently the glitchiness of boats sort of depends on my frame rate it, it seems or on 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 people's frame rates. So when I wasn't recording this worked very well. Now that I am recording, uh my frame rate drops down to 30 frames per second, right? That's what I have it locked at. And uh <laughs> it becomes pretty apparent that uh boats have a little bit of an issue when when using this so let me show you all right <laughs> so on the second jump already is when it started happening the desync woohoo <laughs> um i'm sailing away and down we go and now we finally hit the ground for real <laughs> so um yeah it does work what what's happening though is it's rendering my character in a different spot um, somehow there's a desync of where it actually calculates where you are and where it shows where you are, which I don't really understand, but 
Here, let's try write it again. Um. <laughs> oh, even on the first jump, it messed up. Wow. Yeah, so you can hear the pistons are still activating up there. It is calculating things properly. So it's not drawing things properly. And uh, you'll notice if I get out of the boat here, it puts me in a totally different spot. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, to the eyes, it's it's trickery, but it actually is figuring things out properly, and it does work properly, so that's good. Hopefully in a future version of Minecraft, we will have working boats. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to mess around with Eats Road stuff in the future in my Let's Play. Uh, maybe even today, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how things go. Uh, I tried a boat launching thing here. Let's see if I still have boats in. Yep, pretty simple. All you really need is a dispenser with boats in, water above that, and then to right next to the water have the slime block with the sticky piston below, and activate it one tick after you activate the the dispenser. It's pretty cool. Oh, I got I got burps. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just ate. Not the best time to record. Uh, on I think it was on Reddit somebody showed this. This is a new block update detector, a new bud switch. Very simple, very, very effective. Anytime it updates next to the piston, it will it'll do that. So you can have like redstone wire up here, for example. And uh, every time it activates, it will send a pulse to that, I believe. Or not. Wait a minute. It's not lighting up. <laughs> I never actually tested it. Oh yeah, it does work. This is really quick, I guess. Yeah, so that's cool. I was trying to make something here to make suspended ender pearls. It didn't turn out too well. Maybe I'll show you the general idea behind it though. Game mode zero. Let's get an ender pearl. Um. Yeah, it's just a little too inconsistent to actually try it. Try to get this working properly. Throw it up. Nope. <laughs> and uh, ender pearls, they travel slower through water, so that's how I was doing it this way. And I was hoping I could just keep bouncing it over and over with this with this uh, slime block thing. I got it to bounce twice, but it's, it's just too inconsistent. You throw it kind of randomly, and... Uh, the release time is random, and yeah, <laughs> the fence gate is tried to, is to try to control when it's actually released a little bit better, but it still, it doesn't work too well. So that idea was a flop. Uh, some people did make devices though that were able to bounce an ender pearl uh, when you throw it horizontally, and it goes like a hundred blocks or whatever instead of like half that, which is cool. Um. There's elevator designs that are coming out. This is one I I worked out, but I saw on the Reddit lots of people did this, <laughs> so I never bothered making a video on it. Um, but it seems to work pretty good. Very simple to set up. Is it glitched out? Oh, it is glitched out. There's some issues still, like slime blocks sometimes get left behind. I just realized I never really showed how this works, so maybe I'll do that. I tried sending an empty boat through it while recording, and that seems to go okay, so we can watch it this way. Yeah. Pretty cool. So this this first water block catches it and allows it it gives it a little bit of time to to position itself properly again. And then the second water block, woohoo. <laughs> the second one here it's a it's a moving stream, right? So that allows it to keep its horizontal momentum. Otherwise, it would just like slow down each jump, and eventually it would just drop, right? Um, so that's cool. And since the boat is always trying to float upwards, th this carpet prevents it from from going up, right? Uh, and that keeps it in the track. But when it gets to this pressure plate, uh, it can it can flow up through that. It triggers it. And then that also triggers the slime block, which it's positioned over, and that sends it sends it flying, basically. And this is one, two, 
three, four. Four blocks over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven up is where the first water block is. In case you were wondering if you want to do it yourself. And I, I never showed the, the anvil wave either. <laughs> Let's go check this out. And then we'll head back to the Let's Play world. Yeah, so piston waves are a thing again. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, everybody, so we are back here, and uh, I got something set up. This should be pretty fun, I if it works, if I did it right. Uh, but to commemorate this patch and all the cool slime block stuff we can do, <laughs> I, I got... I got something set up here um, to show respect and appreciation for the new patch. There's that creeper face. That's not good. Need to get rid of that thing. Um, <laughs> so you guys know I've always had a real... Uh, I've always really enjoyed TNT cannons and pretty much anything related to TNT. And something new has come out uh, as a result of this patch. A new device... That is pretty awesome. It's been posted on the Reddit a few times. And uh, <laughs> we need a button. It's got to be an epic button. I really hope I did this right. We'll find out. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, I, think, I feel like we need some epic music playing here. Epic! Music, TNT, missile, oh my god, what do we do? It's a TNT missile. <laughs> and... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So yeah, TNT missiles are a thing now, which is pretty cool. Then basically... And like flying machines and all that stuff. That's basically what it is. It's a flying machine with TNT attached. And when it runs into something, it explodes. Uh, that was a design made by Mostly Disappointing, is his Reddit name. Um, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> There's a few designs out there. Let's see. I think what I gotta do next time I do one of these is have like... I had it hidden in here. I need like a door that opens and then it launches out of it. Get like a, a proper missile silo going on here. <laughs> uh. Alright, so I've been trying to decide what we should do for the rest of this episode. Get back here. Where are you going? Um, I did mostly get that mob spawner all set up too. Um, the only thing it's missing is the ocelots. And I went to the jungle to try to get more ocelots. I even cut down a bunch of trees... Uh, so that there'd be a bunch of grass exposed, and hopefully they would spawn, and... Ah, <sighs> no ocelots. <laughs> so, I could probably finish that today, but I think we should focus on slime blocks today. Maybe next episode, we'll we'll check that out again. Uh, so I had a fun little idea that I thought I would do with you guys. Uh, try to invent something together, haven't done that in a while. Um... For a long time, I've wanted to make sort of a like a parking garage, parking garage, garage. <laughs> Do you say garage or garage? Because I used to always say garage, and then it, then I, for some reason, I got the impression that garage is correct, and I've been saying it ever since. But I sound like a, I feel like I'm pret pretentious, pretent pretentious when I say garage <laughs> I don't know um, anyway I'm I'm rambling here so I want to make a ho like a horse parking garage um, have you seen I think it's a Japanese thing it's like a little little garage thing they park the car in it and then they press a button and it like cycles to a different car it's like on a conveyor belt and uh, yeah <laughs> that's what I want to do with horses um, and we're going to try to do it using the new slime blocks. So anyway, let's, let's get going here. I've been rambling for quite a bit. So horses, they need like a two by two area. So I figure let's get 
two by two thing of slime blocks down. I guess we'll start it over here. This is just a like a, a work area. We're not actually putting it here. Um, the thing is, the mine carts have been reverted. I guess we gotta get rid of this too. And actually, yeah, we gotta get rid of all this. Uh, so, so they're no longer super fast, the mine carts. So I'm probably gonna be using horses again. And I want like a, a horse holding area set up in the nether like I was gonna do. Um, so we may end up using this if this turns out okay. Which I hope it does. Let's see, see slime blocks they have this thing where they stick to everything. So for for the most part you almost have to always use obsidian or furnaces. They don't uh they don't stick to them. Which means a lot of your builds aren't gonna look very good, unfortunately. I kinda hope they add more blocks that that don't stick to the slime blocks. Like maybe Maybe stained clay doesn't stick to it because it's got like a smooth st surface, but maybe wool does because it's, you know, <laughs> it seems like slime blocks could stick to wool pretty easy. I don't know. Just to kind of split the blocks in half of ones that do and don't stick. Um, let's do like a viewing area here. Like that and put this in front. Give it a border. I want the horse to be in there. Let's put up some walls. Although when that when these go up, they're gonna stick to this clay these clay blocks, so we have to use obsidian here too. And I guess the glass has to go. <laughs> that the the sticky thing is cool, but there's a lot of restrictions to it I'm finding. So it's kinda hard to do stuff with it actually. Um Okay, yeah. You, you are a test dummy. You go inside. Whoa. Nice and bouncy. Let's try it. Oh, can you not jump on this stuff? Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh oh. I'm trapped with him. Cool, cool. So now, let's see how high this guy gets launched up when we do this. Do I have redstone? Yep. Okay, and let's make a button. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! It looked like he went maybe maybe three blocks above this block here. Maybe two. How about, how do I want to do this? I could either use like water streams to like cycle them in a loop sort of thing, or maybe, maybe let's try just, let's try just do two horses. And like, as this one falls down, this one goes up and they switch places. Let's see if we can pull that off. So, Yeah, <laughs> let's go up here. Um, let's set up some, well, I guess we don't need, I, I was thinking we'd put pistons on this side and this side. I guess we don't really need that because horses are big. We could just get away with, um, let's put some sticky pistons in the back here. Like this. All right. And they will move glass blocks so that when this guy launches up in the air, we want these to extend and hold them in place. So these will need to be inverted with a redstone torch. So let's do that. It's been a while since we did an episode like this <laughs> where we just like goofed around with like technical things. It's, it's fun. I, I like doing this. All right, and we'll put a redstone up there. So now if we if we power that redstone wire, it should Yeah, that's good. That's what I want. Okay. So 
Hmm. We'll want these to open up to the right and left, probably, this glass block so he can get out. But we also want this to bounce and that to retract. Maybe let me do, run some wire off camera for a sec because this will probably take a, a little bit. Oh, snap. I was worried at first. It wasn't doing what I wanted it to do, but I got it worked out now. So let's just take a quick look at the wiring. Uh, the cycle button is over here. And it runs down like this. Goes to a repeater. I uh, had it set at 4, and that, that makes the springboard activate. Then I also have the wire running down. And it goes up this little staircase thing of half slabs, and it goes up to up to there. And that's all I got to it right now. Uh, the problem I was having... Every time I press this, <laughs> he gets launched back up there. And I was like, oh, this is not going to work. But if I change the timing, all is good in the world. Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. Oh, let's sleep for a second. Before we get the mobs blowing up all our stuff. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. So you can you see how he's down here. If I press the button, he goes to the top layer. Press it again, he goes to the bottom layer. So it keeps cycling between top and bottom, which is what I wanted. And now let's let's see. We got to add the second layer to this. So let's start filling this in. I think most of this will be pretty hidden, which is good. Um, should we put this there? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Um, I kind of want to see the second horse, though. Yeah, let's try to make that happen. Um, so, second horse will be here. I feel like I want... Why is this... Hmm. I feel like this is in one more than it should be. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll try this out. So, let's let's put a window here. Build it up like this. How does that look from down here? That's ah, okay. Should we do the th three tall thing like we did with that one? Get it going like this. And then have it go over top again. Sure. Let's try it. Then we'll fill this in. Oh, do we have more? Yes, we do. Okay. And that is about it. Oops. Let's just cover this for now. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it out. Um, We're going to launch him up to the second floor. Oh, he took damage. What did he take damage on? Is he hitting... Is it because he's hitting his head on? Wait a second. He might be hitting his head on this. Didn't think that would matter. Let's just keep it open for now then. Yeah, there we go. So we could put glass on the top then. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> so now we need a second horse. Let me go get a second horse. Cool. So we got our buddy over here and he's going to help us See if this works the way I think it's going to work. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Let's get this guy to the second floor. Awesome. Let's open this up. And we'll put him inside. Alright, so this is a... Whoa! I, <laughs> I got out on the other side, I guess. That confused me for a second. Cool. Now we got a guy on the first floor and one on the second floor. When we press this... Yes, it does work. Awesome. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. So they switch switch between it. So the an extra step to this that we still need to do is uh, make a release for it. So we could do something like this and have sticky pistons that open this up. Um, we would want one on that side, one on this side. That's one option. 
we may be able to put like fence gates here too. Um, I built this out of cyan clay and like gray glass. It's more of a you know a high tech theme, but if this was made out of wood and all that, fences would look pretty good with this too. Um, so maybe let's try that. Do 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 do. Get two of these. Although, hmm, that might not work because, oh yeah, and <laughs> stupid slime blocks are going to stick to them. Yeah, you see how it leaves them behind? Hmm, unless they were up one more. Oops, oh man. And it's nighttime, this is going bad. All right, maybe I'll try to figure this out off camera. We're, we're running pretty low on time for today, so I'm going to wrap this up in just a little bit. Uh, defense gates could work at ooh, one level up, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, if I have the pistons on the side, it really increases the width of the, the design, which isn't good. Fence gates are pretty simple. Well, I decided to go with the pistons after all. The fence gates didn't really work because they're not a full block and the horses were walking into them and, and suffocating and <laughs> things were bad. So I switched to the the pistons instead and got it doing that, which is pretty good. They, they only had one more block to the sides, both sides. Um, the wiring isn't as compact as I would have liked. I can make it very compact if I just have this one retracting on the right here. Uh, but if I want both of them to retract for, for the looks of it, I have to do this with the wire. Because I could just have like redstone dust, block, redstone torch underneath this piston. That's all I would need. But uh, instead I have it going to a repeater, which branches off this way to a redstone torch up to that one, and then goes to the left, dodges the other wiring I have here, um, goes underneath that, to the redstone torch and up there. So yeah, pretty good. <laughs> There's a creeper by here that has me a little worried. And the nice thing about doing it this way is I can seal it up totally flush if I want. Aha! Very cool. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty good. So that's a two horse, two horse shuffler. If I was to make this bigger, I would probably want like a window there and a window there. So that you could see three horses and then uh, shuffle between right and left. It would probably be a six horse shuffler, like it would go you could see the the one to the left and the one to the right, and then there would be three more, uh, like at the back side here. But uh, I don't really need six horses, so this is probably good. <laughs> I could also, I'm sure, change this so uh, it's one block shorter in the back here if I just have the blocks here and the torches on top and try to work it out that way. But I'm not too worried. Um, so yeah. Turned out, I'm, I'm happy with that. Cool, cool. Right out of here. Oh, you know, I never even thought of it, but I'm really glad I made this three blocks tall because <laughs> I would have took suffocation damage. Otherwise, I'd even, I'd even plan that. It just worked out that way. Change that with obsidian to make it look better. Aha, uh -huh. cool, cool. I'm pretty sure their color changed color <laughs> in this update. It looks like it's orange. I'm, it was red. Let me try dye it red and see if it's the same. Because, uh, oh, it did change. OK. <laughs> so for some reason, their color changed color. Interesting. Uh, today's comment is related to, to our little buddies here. It says, hey, Etho, 
Did you know that tamed wolves cannot teleport if they are tied to a fence with a lead? That would eliminate the problem you are having with them randomly teleporting. Anyway, great video and I hope this helps. I actually did not know that. Uh, and we're going to try it out. So, come on guy. Come on. <laughs> I have a fence post over here. Okay, I was worried there was a, still that glitch where you can attach if you just had one. Okay, so he's in. He's attached, and that was that's the red color guy. Let's get this guy up. Yeah. Okay, this guy teleported. That one did not. That's cool. I didn't know that. Um, so he said that because I. I was worried the wolves might teleport in that mob system when we get it set up. So if if I am concerned, I can I can take advantage of this trick. So that's pretty cool. Also with this horse thing, I can remove these blocks. I just realized so a slightly better view if we do that might be worth doing. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a lot of fun doing all this stuff with the slime blocks, and we will probably be using them a lot in the future. Um, yeah, let's get a baby wolf. <laughs> we'll end it with a baby wolf. What color will the color be? Or is his head too big we can't see? I can't see the color. I don't know. Can you not see the color on baby wolves? Oh, it's orange. It's orange. <laughs> you have such a big head. Alright. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.